need a thin light somewhere, and I mean really thin. This is a box that came in, the light's laying here on the table. But this is a 32 watt LED, it is surface mount. And I was going to actually put this up into a foyer, but the space is so small, it would be almost impossible to get good camera angles on it. So therefore I'm going to do a demonstration here on my uh, saw tabletop. Because uh, it would be hard for me to show everything clearly in that little bitty foyer. So we're going to get into this thing coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop at a company called Tan Baby. Uh, asked me if I would be interested in uh, demonstrating one of their lights. Got it right here. And it uh, change color temperature by means of the wall switch and there's a few other things involved although there are no real directions with this on how to do that but we'll get into that here in a minute and of course the neighbor has to mow the yard while I'm trying to do a video you probably picked that up but so it does come with uh, directions here on how to mount it to the ceiling and I'm going to show you that here very clearly about how these metal tabs have to reach but as far as uh, directions on how to change color temperatures and so on it doesn't show that so what does it come with it comes with uh, some screws and some little anchors and a couple of uh, wire nuts of course you get the light itself with the mounting plate on the back and no you don't get this line cord this is what I'm going to use to demonstrate this and I'm going to use a plug-in strip to pretend that's a wall switch because I got lots of room here and it'd be very easy to show this so let me get uh, in close, I'll show you how this part has to mount to the light. Okay, when you look at the back of the light here, you'll see there's two little metal tabs on the light. And this is uh, only three quarters, uh, about, well, between three quarters, seven eighths of an inch thick. It's 12 inches diameter. This is the mounting plate. So what you would do with this is, there's a cord on it, mark line of neutral. You would wire this up. This sh really should be in a box. Don't, don't be just freewheeling wire around. Make sure there's a box behind it. There's holes here to mount, right here, to go up and mount onto your box. Uh, they also give you three holes here to anchor this, but there again, uh, if you're in the United States, follow the National Electric Code, put a box behind it. Don't just fly wires to this. That's, that's wrong. I'm an electrician, I know that. Okay, so once you get it wired and this part is up on the ceiling, couple little metal tabs here on each side they fit into a slot on the back here like so and you would take the light and just twist it now you're twist it that way so that it is locked in place and you need to make sure it goes all the way until it clicks right there so it'd be a lot easier when this is mounted on the ceiling now I'll get into hooking this up. Okay, I have this propped up on a little case here so you can see the light here better. Um, I played with it a little bit after I got it wired up. You're white to neutral, black to hot. Maybe you've got a red, maybe you've got some other color. Generally, white is always neutral. Uh, with this, it's not really polarity sensitive, but, you know, stick to the code, do it right. So, when you first turn on the switch, it'll be one color. There, there's three different color temperatures here in degrees Kelvin uh, with the brightest being 6500 K and the lowest being uh, I think about 3000 K I would guess but if you have it set for its I think this is like the mid-range here about 4000 but if you rapid cycle it now we're down to the uh, 3000 Kelvin more of a yellow light there we're back to the mid-range and there we have the 6500K. So it depends on how white the light you want it to be. Once you have it set where you want it, if you turn the switch off, and you wait at least 15 seconds before you turn it back on, then the light will still be the same color. It won't be a different color every time you turn it on unless you got kids standing there playing with the switch like this. So back on, we're back to the same color. But if you, let's say you wanted that warm white color, and boy, I hope the camera's showing this because this is kind of a hard thing to do. We'll turn this off and there again, you need to wait from 10 to 15 seconds. 
it's where you've left the room and you come back later and you turn it on and it will be the same color again. So it's, it's just that simple. Yeah, I've turned off all the lights in the shop I can. We have ambient light coming in from the windows and so on. Uh, the door is shut, but there's a window in it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see me at all right here. Uh, let me give you a little bit better idea of what the uh, color temperatures look like. So there we had left it on warm white. Ooh, this is spooky. You rapid cycle it. you be back to the uh, about 4,000. Cycle it again, up to 6,500K. Depends on how white you let, want the light to be. Uh, this is kind of, well, uh, this is the 4,000 now that I look at it close. So this would be more like cool white, like what you would get from a uh, regular fluorescent light. This here is what they call a warm white, which would be like a regular incandescent light bulb. And this one here would be the 6500K, or the uh, what they call daylight, very, very white, white light. back in the dark. Okay, so where would you use something like this? If you have a place where you have a, a very close, let's say your door swings open into the foyer and there's very, very little space because maybe you're in a camper or a uh, mobile home, trailer house, depending on where you live and what it's called, uh, you don't have the clearance for a fixture that would hang way down. Or maybe you, especially in like a camper, an RV, the ceiling is not like really strong, so you can't be hanging heavy stuff on it. Uh, if there's a light there that maybe isn't quite cutting the mustard, and it is 120 volt, this doesn't run off 12 volt. Uh, you could easily put this up there. You don't have to worry about too much weight or making the ceiling uh, sag. Uh, the space I'm going to be using it in is a little bitty foyer. It's three foot by five foot where the stairs turn, and that is why I it would have been impossible for me to do this demonstration with showing how everything hooks up in that little tiny space. Because once I get a ladder in there, I can't hardly turn around and move. So that's why I did it here on the bench. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to take a picture of it up because it's going to look just like it is here. It's going to be a nice flat white light. But I think it'll work out real well. These are available on Amazon. There'll be a link in the description. And once again, Tan Baby did provide this to me to demonstrate, and I hope I've done so here. It's kind of neat having the three different color temperatures, but if you got kids, yeah, they're going to figure this out, so that you, you may have to lay down a couple of ground rules. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the shop. Tan Baby. Adjustable light. Thin light. LED. Low cost to run. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.